What is going on, everyone? Rock here, and I got a game of Capture the Flag on Dome in Modern Warfare 3. In the last video, I mentioned we'd been playing a lot of Capture the Flag here recently. And uh, it's a fun game to play, no doubt about it. It's a, it's a blast to run around the map. I love running flags. It gets me out and gets me involved in the action, but unfortunately, not a lot of points XP is to be had in Capture the Flag. But uh, this particular game, I am not a flag runner. I am protecting our home flag. And I'm kind of setting up a perimeter around the flag. My job is to not let the enemy get in that front door, if at all possible. And uh, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of running around this game. And you're probably going to be like, damn rock, you're camping like a mofo. And really, you got to look at it two ways. There's defending and then there's straight up camping. Sure, I'm not running around, but I'm trying to defend this flag. I'm trying to keep people from capturing our home flag. So that's why I'm not going to be moving around as much. But you know, I really don't want to talk simply about capture the flag and whether I'm camping or defending today. Uh, interestingly enough, I want to talk about Black Ops 2 or whatever they might actually be calling the next Call of Duty title. I know it's a little early. Modern Warfare 3 has only been out for a month, and we're already going to start talking about the next Call of Duty title. Well, yeah, actually we are, because now is the important development time that, you know, is working on that game. Treyarch is currently working on this title. They are hard at work. And now is the time for us to give our input into what we might like to see in the next Call of Duty installment. And, uh... Game Design Director David Vondahar is extremely active on Twitter. And this past week, he actually started asking for people's input via Twitter on what they would like to see in the next game. I'm going to put Mr. Vondahar's Twitter down below in the description. And if you're not already following him, I would definitely suggest you, you do so because he is a wealth of information. And like I say, he, uh, he actually does do quite a bit of communication back and forth with our community so now is the time for us to be giving him our input and if you do happen to send him a message try to do it in a respectful polite manner you don't want to troll him because that's just not going to help us at all uh, we want to try and improve every game that comes out in the call of duty series if you're a call of duty player you want it to be better than the last one sometimes we get little glimpses of that and sometimes we don't like modern warfare I, modern warfare 3 i think as a whole is, is, is a good game but we have some issues with it that i think they really didn't look to us as a community for feedback on uh some of it they did and some of it they didn't you know i think the kill streaks the way you can rotate through them now the cycling and and all that, I think that is definitely something they gleaned from us as a community. That is something a lot of people, myself included, actually wanted to have in this game. And we got it. Uh, there's still a few imperfections with it. There's some problems with it. In other words, uh, they need to work just a little bit more to improve on it. You know, it's nice to have our stackable kill streaks again and be able to rotate through them. But if you get multiple types of each kill streak, they do not stack you lose them in other words like if you have a predator missile and you haven't used it yet and you require a second predator missile your first one's gone or a care package if you have a care package and you require a second one before you call your first one in it's gone things like that those are little minor things they can tweak you shouldn't lose these if you've acquired them you should not lose them but that's something that uh, infinity ward or sledgehammer whichever uh, company is in charge of that they need to address and we need to give them feedback on it in a polite type of manner uh, 402 Robert Bowling he's been quite quiet on Twitter here recently nobody's heard much from him he did post a recent update the, of all the patches that they're actually working on uh, some of those include nerfs to the type 95 Yay! Yes, you guys know my feelings on the Type 95. It's definitely overpowered. If it wasn't, they weren't. They would not be patching it. Also, the FMG 95 Akimbo's is going to receive a bit of a nerf. And uh, there was one other thing. Oh, I think the CM 901 with the kind of under the barrel glitch, if you want to call it that, where you can increase your rate of fire by putting an under under the barrel attachment on. They're going to be nerfing that, so you can't do it anymore. But uh. 
I, absolutely, they're listening to the community. And David Vondahar, one of the absolute best at listening to our community. So if you would like to participate in his discussions about the upcoming Black Ops 2, and I have no idea if that's what it's going to be called. I'm just calling it that, Black Ops 2. Uh, you might want to go check him out on Twitter and follow him. Uh, one of the things he asked this past week specifically was, on average, how many kill streaks do you think were called in per game? And uh, he used he wanted to use Black Ops as a reference. And I would have to say about 20, 20 to 25, somewhere in that amount, I would think would be a good average for the amount of kill streaks that were called in in any given game of Black Ops. A lot of it depended on who you had playing. If you had absolutely beast players in there you would have more kill streaks called but i'm talking about things like uh uav or in this case spy plane why is it that Treyarch and infinity ward each have to call their uh, uh things different uh infinity ward it's uh uav and with Treyarch, it's spy plane come on let's let's get one and let's just call it that uh the uav spy plane <laughs> is considered a kill streak so that includes that so you get a lot more if you're including that i'm not just talking about choppers and dogs and things like that it's all kill streaks combined and most people feel like you should have less kill streaks called in um i'm not quite sure where i feel about that i kind of feel like black ops had a pretty good average I, I was fine with that average i feel like there's more stuff being called in in the Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 series than uh, in any Treyarch game. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but I feel like it was a pretty good balance in Black Ops as far as how many kill streaks you saw per game. And air support really was not a factor in Black Ops, I don't think. Uh, it was quite easy to shoot down. Just like in Modern Warfare 3, very, very easy to shoot down in Modern Warfare 3. I don't think anybody should be complaining at all about any kind of air support in modern warfare 3 because i'll tell you what mine rarely stays up very long uh is there's been several times i've had strafe runs and choppers in the air and bam emp and it's down you know or uh sam turret bam and it's down you know so i, I think a lot of people complain about the kill streaks. i don't necessarily think that is an issue my message to Mr. Vondahar, pretty plain, cut, dry, and simple. I want two things out of the next Call of Duty title, and those two things are weapon balance and connectivity. I want connection to not be a factor in this game. I don't know what they got to do to do it. I would presume it needs to be dedicated servers. I mean, come on, it's going to be 2012 when this game comes out. I think we can get dedicated servers for Call of Duty. I think that would be the end-all, be-all solution to this problem. Without a doubt, connection is my biggest gripe and complaint in Modern Warfare 3. I think if everybody had a level playing field and connection was thrown right out of it, uh, it would be so much more less aggravating and more enjoyable. Uh, I, I know that's the biggest complaint. It has to be. I know it is. I mean, that's all I hear is, oh my God, how could that guy kill me when I was around a corner? Or, you know, I was shooting this guy first, yet he dropped me. That's all connection. It's all it's all lag. And uh, they got to do something about that in future titles. Will we get something like that in Modern Warfare 3? I know they said they're working on it. Uh, we'll just have to be patient and hope for the best because that's really all you can do. I don't know if... Uh, Robert Bowling is going to, you know, be as open with the community as he has been in the past. He seems to be withdrawing a bit and maybe not talking as much about what's going on and, and how we can improve and make this better. I know the people that do most of the complaining are complaining for a legitimate reason. They want the game to be better. They want their online experience to be better. And... Uh, it usually just comes out in the form of frustration and complaints. And I know probably as people that interact with the community, this can be a daily chore and a challenge for these community moderators like Robert Bowling. Now, Treyarch no longer has a community manager. Uh, you know, JD2020 has uh, stepped down. Still a bit of a mystery as to exactly why that happened. I haven't heard anything. I could never get a 
response from him as to why he left. And uh, at this point, I do not know that there is a community manager type of person in the Treyarch house. Uh, as of this point, David Vondahar is going to be your face of Treyarch and your voice. So uh, he's definitely an important member of that company. He is a game developer. He's not just a face that gets out there and talks the talk. He is the man that writes the code here. So uh, definitely go to his Twitter, participate in this discussion. Please be sure to be polite and uh, not necessarily troll this man. We want to represent our community as a group of level-headed mature people okay so keep that in mind all right that's going to do it for this one guys capture the flag on dome i go 40 and 7 mostly defending and stopping them from capturing our flag all right guys i will see you again really soon with another video have a great day everyone